Well, hey everybody. Um, a couple of weeks ago I did a camping video and I talked about taking a toolbox with me because I'm using the car camping and had it in the back of the truck. Um, I thought today I'd just show you some of the stuff that I actually have in this toolbox that I carry with me. Um, the box itself, just a cheap plastic tote. Um, first thing inside of it is a sewing kit. Um, you always need sewing. Sometimes I like to make bags and stuff like that when I'm out there camping. I do carry matches. Um, I got all kinds of junk in this thing. I carry a small cutting board, kind of handy. A um, little bag full of birch bark. That whenever I see a birch tree, I definitely grab some birch bark. A collection bag. I just, a lot of times when I'm hiking around, around camp, I'll just have that bag on me. Um, I do carry a fire starter kit. A little thing of magnesium. Barrel rod. Of course, a lighter. Um, jute twine, just torn up. Um, the stuff you pluff it up, and it makes a great little uh, catch for your tar cloth and stuff like that. Which also carry a little bit of matches in the fire starting kit. Um, I do carry a magnifying glass. Although a very small magnifying glass, it's still fun to play with, um, whether you want to do wood burning or start a fire. Um, also, just bag, and then I have a little tin with some rock and steel and some charred cloth in there. It's nice to play around, you know. Um, I do carry a utility tool. Um, it's got all kinds of stuff on here. These things come in all designs and styles. They're really handy. A quick sharpener for some of my knives. Some of my knives I won't use that on, of course. Um, tons and tons of old plastic tent stakes. I think I might even have metal ones in there. Um, always some nylon twine. You never know. You can take this apart, use them as threads for sewing, stuff like that. I have many different sizes of needles and threads in my kit also tape. Always have a little electrical tape. I also like these little light bulbs. A um, little hook on them. They're a three-way bulb. they got a dim, a bright, and a flasher. I like them hanging my ridge line under the tarp or in the tent on the little hook in the top of your tents. Not a lot of light, but when you're out there camping, you don't need a lot of light. I don't carry the batter batteries inside of them. I do carry them in their little packs outside. Um, Carry me a little Viking fork. I make bunches of these. Everybody likes them. Cotton bandana. So I have bunches. Always have bunches of those. Always a spare carpenter's pencil with me. Also in here, I keep my silica packs. Um, since I have a lot of metal in here, I don't like it rusting. So whenever I get those, I just throw them in. I do carry a full selection of carabiners. Um, Strong ones, weak ones, all works. A nice cloth for wiping down anything that need to dry off. These are really handy for that. A couple different pairs of gloves. Um, a little heavier, thicker ones for, you know, if you're going stickers and stuff like that. Um, light mechanics gloves are real handy. Bags, um, this is an old Crown Royal bag. Always have them. You never know when you're going to want to put something in a bag or your bag rips and you need another one. Also in here I carry a heavy metal chisel kit. There's punches, chisels. So every once in a while I like to carve on rocks. Um, and if you don't have this thing in your tool bag you can't really do much for rock carving. So I do enjoy making things when I'm out there. And most of the time this cup is in this box also with a smaller version of it for a shot glass. I carry a draw knife. Found this collapsible one oh years ago $15. Um, real nice. I like that it collapses down blades fairly protected when they're on there. Sometimes it's kind of hard to keep them in place but very handy tool. Um, I can make round sticks, um, pegs, anything of the sort. Another bag, of course, got bunches of those. 
I also carry a drill. Um, three different sizes of drill bits. Um, never know. And the drill bits, I just made this myself and just slide on in. Great little handy tool. I've used this quite a bit. Um, take an old stump and I made the sundials on it and just use those to make my peg, put my pegs in. Always and always, lots of carabiners, all kinds of them. Do carry some dish soap. Um, very handy. Let's see, I think that's almost done. I carry an assortment of nails and screws. You never know when you need one, and it's nice to have them. Do carry an old aluminum shot glass for times you need those. All right, let's take the top off and get into the real tools. Um, first thing you can grab out my camp axe. Um, see, it's been a little abused from the kids. Handles bent. I keep telling them I don't care what you do to the thing. It doesn't matter to me, you know, because I want to put a new handle on it. And when I do, I'll do a nicer wrap and everything else on there. I do carry a small kit with me. Saw, my camp knife, a spare um, torch lighter. And inside this, I've got first aid, survivable stuff. It's basically loaded down. Emergency blankets, um, bug netting, mirrors, candle, survival tool with a compass, magnifying glass, survival whistle, small miniature ferro rod because you just never know. And these little molly bags are quite handy for putting stuff in. Um, camp knife I made myself. Very happy with it. It works really well. Sometimes I wear it. Sometimes it just sits right there and I use the knife. Um, the next little bag I got is my carving bag. And inside the carving bag I got a pretty good assortment of stuff. Diamond stone for sharpening. Or diamond rod I should say. Uh, Mora carving knife. Really, really like the price on this. I mean, it was like $15. I did add a, a leather strap for my thumb so when I'm carving and I'm pressing a lot doing that kind of thing it helps my thumb a little bit <laughs> for sure the leather strap I also carry small file set um, miniature files you never know what I'm doing I just they never do also has a handle for the files um, a little bit of sandpaper a small pencil when you're doing projects or just having fun. It's nice to have that kind of stuff. I do have a nice Mora hook knife for making spoons and cooks and stuff like that. I do carry a regular chisel. I think I, I carry also a bent chisel. Never know what I'm I like to carve and dink around when I'm in there. I also carry a small Camillus axe. Used to have a longer handle but I found it wasn't comfortable for such a small bladed axe. So I redid that. It's wrapped in jute twine. Um, this one is not infused with glue. A lot of times when I do these kind of handles I'll do it with glue but nice to be able to take it off and you can make the um, fire starting stuff from it no problem. That's all in there. And here I got sharpening stones. Nice puck really aggressive small stone and a really fine small stone. And that does that bag pretty good. Do carry an extra canister of fuel in my toolbox. Um, you just never know. I carry a hammer. Just a regular. It's an old plum. Um, I use it for everything. Sometimes I pull it out of here and I use it on my forge and use it for pounding small projects because it's a really nice hammer. Also carry a hewing hatchet. And those who don't know, a hewing hatchet has a single bevel blade. Um, this thing is pretty sharp, a little dirty, but I try to keep it pretty sharp. Uh, it's Craftsman. I got this in an auction for five dollars. Um, had no idea what I was dealing with until I got it home and cleaned her up and noticed that it was a Craftsman. So it's really nice. I also carry a a bowl. And usually I use this for the dog's water or something like that. Um, in here I carry a stove. 
another bandana. I always got a bunch of bandanas. You can never have too many of them if you can, you know, convey them out like I do with the car. On this stove, I have alcohol tabs. Um, I put a base on it. It'd burn anything under it. The stove itself has a tray for the alcohol tabs. So the stove is pretty nice. This is a Rolo, not a Solo, but a Rolo. And it works good. It's a wood gasifier stove. I, I enjoy using it. That's why it's in here. It's a little heavy for light pack work, but in my toolbox, not an issue. I carry a small ads. I made this one myself also. Handy if you're just goofing around out there, you want to carve on a log or something like that. Lots of tent stakes in the bottom there. I do carry a roll of toilet paper. Um, I think anybody out there in the woods can know what that's for, for sure. The saw blades, I have two blades in here. I'll actually get the saw out and show you. If I can get the blades out of the container. Um, I got a green wood blade and a dry wood blade. Hardly ever use the dry wood blade, but I always bring it anyway. Now the saw I made myself. It's just a breakdown saw. I actually kind of like the saw. I mean, a good blade, you can buck up the wood pretty good. Um, cut anything you want with it, that kind of thing. Just got a simple little pin. I'm just going to make sure I put the blade on right, because I put it on backwards a few times. Get her in there. Sometimes I've taken this apart and reassembled it and still mess it up. It's pretty impressive. It was a pretty easy build. I didn't have any any troubles with it at all. But pretty simple. Um, crossbar got little tenons on it, little mortises in here that it just pops into. A piece of heavy, heavy rope, because you do put a lot of tension on this. And it just slides in there. And simple as that, I've got a pretty decent saw. And it, it does, it cuts right through the wood. And a spare hat. Um, you never know when you're out there and you want to cover your head. Usually I have my cowboy hat with me. Not an issue, but always carry it. Never not carry it. And the only thing else in there is more stakes. You just, you just never know when you're out there. Um, but I thought I'd give you an idea of the tools I do bring me, me when I do car camping. In case I want to make something, I have the tools. That's, you know, pretty much the way I look at it. Extra stove, it's fun just to, you know, when you can't have a big fire or something like that. I can have a small one in this. It's pretty well contained, um, and it cooks great. Um, I want to use the alcohol tabs, as you see I have before. And just put this in there in the bottom. Put a couple tabs in there and light them. And these tabs, they last about seven minutes to nine minutes. They're all a little bit different, at least the ones I've tested. Yeah, sometimes I carry more than this. Sometimes I, it's not all in my toolbox when I go camping, which usually bums me out, but that's because I'm using it in the shop or something else like that. Um, thank you for watching the video, and hope you enjoyed it. Let's go. Now, of course, put everything away.